My name is Oliver Queen. After five years in hell, I returned home with only one goal, to save my city. But my old approach wasn't enough. I had to become something else. inspiring so many people to come out here today. Oh, I, I didn't inspire anyone. This is the city that I know. It's the city I remembered, and it's the city that we can be again. Thank you for your time. Nice line. Did you give him that one? Might have given a note or two. Well, you have people picking up garbage, and they should be picking up presents. Even Mr. Coley. How are you doing? I have my brother home with me for the holidays, Olive. He's in a cage. But he's here. We're going to get Andy out from under Dark's influence, John. That is a promise. We can reduce just 40% of the toxicity that's produced by the bacterial microorganisms that have just sprung up here. We can clean in just 12 more days if the restitution rate stays consistent. Yeah. She's like a mini you. <laughs> problem. months because she thought you were killed. Andy Jr., girl without a father. And you let them. It wasn't me. It was Hive. They think our deaths were untraceable. Floyd Lawton shot me with ammo supplied by Hive. He didn't even know. You destroyed your family, Andy! And you never reached out to them! 
Not even once. How could you do that? I get it. You didn't care then. You don't care now. Just so you know, your good friend Damien Dark attacked the Star City Bay this morning. Hurt a whole lot of people. And the neuroblockers he was using on you are no longer in your system. So can we be speaking, Andy? You're no longer his bitch. Not anyone's bitch. And I'm not yours. What happened to you, Andy? Damien Dark brainwashed you. I could get it. I caught in the dark. Were you running drugs and weapons in the stand? Had to do what I had to do. Give me your chance, man. The chance, Andy, to redeem yourself for all that you've done. And I have to believe that someplace deep inside of you, you want to make the right choice. So I'm asking whatever is left. The brother I love. The one I still love, Ed. One last time, man. What is Dark One? It's just like, who shoots up a bunch of people during the holiday? That's what makes it awful. Uh, Why does it like Santa Claus up in here? <laughs> it's for Oliver's campaign holiday party. I wanted to make sure your Jewish heritage was represented. Yeah, I'm not so sure that's still going to be happening. What? Humbug. No, no, no. <laughs> that's ridiculous, sweetie. No, you can't let the terrorists win. I'm going to take a shower. Okay. flag in front of a bull. That doesn't mean the bull is going to charge right away. And it doesn't mean we can put our entire lives on hold in the meantime. Help me out here, man. No can do. Can't throw a grenade and go to ground. John is right. As much as your speech was about outing dark, it was also about sending the message that you're not afraid anymore and canceling your Christmas party. Holiday. Your holiday party is sending the opposite message. Okay, talk to Lance. See if he can get some extra security for this holiday party. you a question? Now? Here? I mean, what's the question? Did we do the right thing? You mean the dark? Yeah. Well, he's gonna retaliate somewhere, some place. And... When he does, we'll be ready. I think the drugs Ryder has you and the other cops is going into funding his bigger plan, searching for some sort of mystical 
Lord. You like to play and drink it. And maps. But I cannot make that one without detailed survey maps of the island. The director doesn't have it? Not that I've seen. But the writer is not the first person to come to this island. Lord. If you're here to give me a Christmas present, you can keep whatever knife or torture device you plan on giving me. No presents, nothing gift wrapped at any rate. I just wanted to check and see how you're feeling. Hungry? Haven't wanted to snap anybody's neck who's giving me the wrong looks and stay me in the dark whammy me. I think I might be cured, Dad. But you can keep whatever file you have on a pedophile or meter maid or politician, whoever it is that you think I'm going to kill. Since you told me about your encounter with Damien Dark, I had my minions looking into it. You love having minions. Dark's effect on you had nothing to do with his exposure to waters from the Lazarus pit. Why do you think he's affecting my bloodlust? I don't know. There are very few things in this world that scare me, Thea. But I'm beginning to suspect we're dealing with something that might fall into that category. We are dealing with universal forces that I don't understand yet. Please promise me that you will be careful. I made that decision. I see them. Let them go. I wish I could 
to do that. I really do. But sometimes the best way to teach someone a lesson isn't to punish them. It's to punish the ones he cares about the most. Suicidal ghosts. Yeah, and where's that leave us? Nowhere. Honestly, Oliver, this place is even easier to break into than your last lair. Malcolm! We're pressed for time. Suffice it to say, I'm a little less dead than most people think. What are you doing here? My daughter's in danger. Shouldn't your first question be what took you so long? What is this? I've used polyphasic encrypted satellite phones to communicate. That is one of them. What do you get? I'm ready to go.
was surprised to get your call. And on one of our secure phones, no less. You are more than you seem, Oliver. Oh, you really better hope that isn't true. <laughs> What's the word for a man who threatens the man who's holding his nearest and dearest captive? I don't know. Idiot? You can kill my friends. You talk to me to make a point. You've made it. No. Not yet, I have. Here, let my friends go. I'm sorry, did you think this was quid pro quo, Mr. Queen? We have a deal. Now let my friends go. Patience. You know who perfected the gas chamber? The Nazis. For years, I wondered why the world would allow those monsters to exist, let alone thrive. And I realized the world needed them to. As horrible as it sounds, every now and then, humanity needs a reset, a do-over. That time has come. What is this? A demonstration of the project that you're going to help us with once we install you as mayor. Think of it as your friends and family's life insurance policy. Uh, thank you for your service, your mind, and your belief in me. You will forever be part of our hive. Thank you for doing the legwork on skinning the bay. My people were using the harbor to create a certain type of algae. One that would allow us to do this undetected. Mm -hmm. right. Well, at least it lasted longer than the previous one. I guess that's something. All right, let's continue to adjust the ratio to blue. If you told me I'd ever get used to seeing you dressed up like that, I'd... Excellent. You got your bondage outfit on. Yeah, no mask for you. Not my day. If we're going after Oliver, wouldn't it make sense for you to bring along a few of your little ninja friends? I can't afford to pick the league against Hyde. Do you have Oliver's location? An abandoned industrial complex outside Pennytown. You'd think Dark would have checked to see if he was tagged with a track. Well, I'm sure he did. He means very thorough. But Oliver had me tag him with the same particular nanotechnology he used on me last year. What about me? No, you'll blow your cover with Dark. It's pretty much already blown. Can you get it? Happily, I have enough father and daughter drama in my life as it is. Good luck. Thank you. Remember, we're on a clock. Okay, this is about you not trusting me anymore after working with Dark. No, it's just the opposite. You've done things. Things that you'll never forgive yourself for because you were protecting me. But I'm the one who gets to decide whether I need anyone's protection. That's not how parenting works, sweetheart. I think that you and I can both agree that our relationship is a little unconventional. This is a mess. You'd first clue. Listen, sweetheart. You just be careful out there, all right? Because I don't know what I'd do if anything were to happen to you. If that's not true, I know exactly what I would do. And it'd be ugly. These people, they're volunteers. True believers. Every last one. Oh. Uh, well, I'll give you guys some privacy to say your farewells.
thank you for coming. Oh, my God. What's going on? The deal is that I bring myself here, and you let my friends go. Hey! I'm so sorry about this. We had a deal! Well, I think if you replay our conversation in your mind, our bargain was only at best implied. Even so, bad guy, remember? You let them go. I will. I suspect you can speak up. You do this. She'll lose any leverage that you have on me. Wrong. As long as they're alive, you have something to fight for. That is what I'm taking away from you. But don't worry. It's painless. Damien Dark. It's not a cult. 
the men as people, regular people, honest people, I'm thinking, so brainwashed, they're willing to die for. Cult. You know, I think what you want to think. It's a free country. For now, this is a human. Man, you pulled me out of the dark waters. Convinced me to keep going when I didn't see the point. No, but you didn't. What you failed to see is the man I really am. Right in front of you. The whole time. So my brother's a ghost. I will treat you like a ghost. Vigilante problems getting worse. Oh, relax, Miss Nixon. Focus on the here and now. There's concerns that you're leading us off the rails? No. I'm leading us exactly where we need to be. Beautiful, isn't it? And I don't even like corn. Go ahead. Breathe. Drink it in. Tell me what it reminds you of. Seems so real. Uh, I liken it to the air on Everest. A little thin, maybe, but just enough to keep things interesting. I thought the tests had failed. Not the last one. Thanks to the allergy we engineered from Star City Bay, the air down here is now perfectly breathable. We are right on schedule. Phase four begins now. And watch from all of us here. This is all Alex's idea. You're to show the people that you're not backing down. All you gotta do is uh, flick a switch and give a speech. That's it. We'll be here waiting for you when you're done. You got it. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> just like this was interrupted by terrorists. But all of us are here tonight to send those people a very simple message. We're not going to let the darkness win. So all of us are here to light a candle together, united. This right there is possible because of all of you. And I am grateful for each one of you. There is one person in particular that I am grateful for. Thank you. Someone that has stood beside me when times were darkest. She is the one who lights my way. Listen to smoke.
Brick, move your head.